YouTuber movies, also known as the Eighth Circle of Hell. There are quite a lot of them which make sense because money. All of KSI, Logan Paul, and even Fred got full feature films. <coughs> Producers basically see the fact that ooh, young gullible audience who lost their parents to pay to watch this movie time. <laughs> Today I'm going to be going through one of these extremely artistically creative movies known as Smosh the movie. This was made in 2015 which chronologically means that 2 years after this movie is when Anthony regretted it enough to literally quit and disassociate from the channel he spent like 10 years on. So I think I can see how this movie is going to go. If you like this kind of videos make sure like subscribe and comment down below what other kind of content you want to see on this channel. Now let's get into this shit show. The films are apparently produced by Awesomeness TV, a studio who consider themselves the studio of Gen Z. Okay. They make series for the likes of Hulu and Netflix etc. They've even got a Grammy nomination for Pen15. Hmm, maybe there is hope. Glad that happened. That was the funniest thing I've seen all day. Never mind. Shut up. That's why every comment on this video is about nostalgia. The movie starts with an animation of Ian Ruling watching YouTube videos while Anthony gets his pizza van vandalized. The animation basically just shows the characters watching YouTube videos while the cast is introduced. Marky Plaid, Jenna Marbles, Dietrichs, you get the point. The scene then transitions into real Ian and Anthony doing what the animations were with that Anthony still delivering pizza while Ian leaves a hate comment. Yeah. <laughs> Ian then starts watching a random video titled Sexy Girl Getting a Butt Massage. Can't believe they could do this. It's not even naked yoga. How fucking uncultured. Ian gets his comment about being Big Rod 91 flag while Anthony just come comes in I mean how the hell can a pizza delivery guy just walk into your house especially in America like I swear you'd get shot imagine that ending to this You picked the wrong house fool Ian then tells him he needs a ride to which Anthony says he's a model professional to which Ian just states the fact he delivers pizza They briefly mention the fact that Anthony apparently lives with Ian and his parents, and they have this pretty awkward interaction. House. Hi, boy. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. I'm Mr. and Mrs. Hecox. So, will you both be home for dinner tonight? Yeah. I can't. I'm fasting to fit my my new pair of jeggings I just got. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bye, mom and dad. Uh huh. Bye, son. Bye. Thank you. They then waffle for a bit before Anthony decides to give Ian a ride. Anthony then proceeds to talk to a pretty awfully edited green screen of Steve Austin. He then compliments Anthony about how he's managing his complex life and then calls him fat. Then they head over to Game Bank, presu- presumably an arcade, although it could also be a glory hole. When they are about to head in, they start getting mocked for their car by literal children. They retaliate by flexing on them. The kid also flexes his watch. Look the watch on my wrist. That shit you can't resist. Anthony then manages to get temporarily blinded by looking at the sky for around two seconds. Inside the arcade, they talk about how they should be seeing girls and shit. I don't know. It's it's boring and does nothing to this plot. They then see a game, Magic Pocket Slave Monsters. Thing. No, no, no. Red, I choose you. Your will. Yeah. So, yeah, that happened. I guess that's one way to avoid a Nintendo lawsuit. Anthony says Ian's not living in the real world after he sees a few girls laughing at Ian. To which Ian responds, "The real world sucks." They then get into some manufactured conflict before Anthony walks back to his car and sees the kids from earlier literally shitting on it. He then gets laughed at again by the girls and then ends up throwing away his keychain of Magic Pocket Slave Monsters. 
which I'll be honest, why the fuck did he keep it this long? At home, Ian's watching softcore porn on YouTube again, and is caught by his parents. And his dad um, warns him that the woman he's seeing, or I mean, seeing on YouTube, could be a guy before saying he'd be cool if he was into that thing. In the next scene, Anthony's trying to get his mail, but is instead assaulted by the mailman. Because apparently Ian did something to him, which we don't find out yet. Anthony then mocks Ian for still watching the butt massage girl, who he calls his girlfriend. This is basically 2015's equivalent for simping for a Twitch streamer. I told you it's not ready yet. Honey, just show it to them. <laughs> Ten things for 20 months. Ninja Kikyo, thanks for a few months, and Bish Spaghetti. Walt Jr. donated five dollars. Hi Pokey, I hope you are having a good day. I love you, you are so pretty and are my favorite streamer. They then go through the mail Anthony got assaulted for and find out about the Fire High School reunion that's happening on that night. We are then treated to a flashback of Anthony's crush in high school, Anna Reid, and specifically a flashback where she says that she's moonwalking 37 miles to raise awareness for people whose ring finger is larger than their pointer finger. Anna effectively manages to rope Anthony into moonwalking with her because he doesn't have money. I mean, except for his before an awkward hug leads to Anthony committing manslaughter. Hmm, made it. Ian and Anthony, who is now trying to make sure Anna comes to the reunion, hop into some kind of forum and get a link to an awesome video, which they find out is an embarrassing video of Anthony doing an intro to a famous TV show. Except here it's on stage, in front of Anna, he's trying to, the girl he's trying to get. He fails the performance, drastically. He then says something about 300 views being a lot. This is me when- Like the entire attendance of a football stadium. You know, in a small town with the high school team whose record is like 5-5, five and five, and they're not terrible, but they're not great, and they're losing a lot of close yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. And I spend a spend 10 days making a video just to get 6 views. He also talks about the fact that the video is probably gonna ruin his- Super cool reputation. He then he he calls YouTube. What? This is this is probably the most communication happening between YouTube and creators since 2014. Also, I love the implication that you would have to call the company YouTube to remove a single video. If that was the case, this is what UMG would do every time they saw my channel. What the fuck is that? Imagine every time you try to complain about a copyright strike, you have to go to a YouTube building. They then have a gag about CEO, CFO, it, it's pointless waffle. Before the woman recognizes Anthony as. There's a backflip microphone guy! And she effectively asks him if he got a mic up his ass. They then get a meeting with the CEO of the establishment. After it looks like Ian actually made a solid point. No, they they meet up with Mr. YouTube. Okay, I know this is for kids, but fucking come on. We then see Mr. YouTube effectively showcase the fact that this teaches children that CEOs have the second name of the company. Can't wait to see Kyle come join the cinematic universe. YouTube. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Uh, talk. Hmm. Talk about a joke that age well. Mr. YouTube, that, that somehow gets more insane the more I say it effectively says they can't delete the video because once it's on the internet it's there forever and they have to go inside YouTube to change it. And from this point this movie gets even more insane. There's then a sex joke before they show the original Gangnam Style. There's some waffle about there being a portal un into YouTube under his desk which just ends up being a setup for a Wiener joke. They then see the actual portal in Steve Yu's YouTube's closet they are then given a personal assistant software on their phones called Diri. 
yeah that's the joke and then they explain it for 15 seconds and then they deliberate for a bit to pad the run time there's no point other than that now i'll just let you see these oscar worthy these special effects in all its glory yep that was a part of a movie that was once on netflix moving on after going through this portal they say seemingly end up in the background of an ad that was on the video they were trying to remove then it effectively looks like a youtube skit in terms of green screening and camera work they make a joke about dairy not understanding them for ending up in in a marketplace video i'm sorry what 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 am i watching how the fuck is this a movie mark effectively just plays some random game about a gorilla with a chainsaw and he chases his ian and anthony with it before laughing maniacally they then somehow end up in an older video where ian filmed anthony f- feeling himself in a pokemon sorry sorry magic pocket slave monsters costume ian's parents f- behave like fucking skyrim npcs when they see the future ian we then finally see why the mailman was mad at them because ian threw milk balloons at him which i mean it doesn't exactly equate as the same as brutal assault but apparently that's supposed to be the explanation for he beat both of them up they then get sent to a jena marbles video for effectively no other reason but to get her in the movie anyway she tells them that they need to use the web address for the video to get there without the help of dairy and also that they can only get back to the outside world as long as the phone they were given has battery ah yes exactly what this movie needed a manufactured time constraint they then mock the trope of splitting up before splitting up and then he ends up in what i can only describe as a furry convention which is probably what wet convert look in 2021 while ian ends up in his favorite soft core porn video and surprisingly the woman from the video knows him she effectively confirms everything ian said and he gets excited and decides to talk to her Meanwhile Anthony ends up in a Steve Austin ice cream commercial. He talks to Steve Austin about everything he's done, what he's trying to do with the video and stuff, and how he's trying to impress Anna Reid. Steve Austin's advice is to fucking stun her with a wrestling move. Yes, that that is the actual joke here. Finn Dairy effectively makes the quickest apology and sends Anthony where he actually wanted to. Except Anthony ends up in a random bag in a closet. We find out it's the closet of Anna Reed who is apparently vlogging to only 3 viewers. <laughs> Pathetic. She's chatting about the moonwalk thing and also Anthony she effectively says how she li- liked Anthony and how the moonwalk was actually a date etc etc. It doesn't anyone really care anyway. This ends up with Derry getting jealous because Anna actually exists. Which ends up alerting Anna as they start arguing in the closet. They almost get caught but Anthony pretends to be Anna's uncle's ghost. What the f? What the f? Ian's getting massaged along with the woman from that video and says, "Ah, uh, man." Pum 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 pum. Anthony catches Ian relaxing and gets pissed before he finds out that even the butt massage girl has seen the video of him backflipping and getting a mic up his ass. He then sees that they can actually use the video address because they are watching it. Anthony basically slaps Ian out of the fact that they are literally in a soft core porn video and convinces him to quit, get back into the search for the embarrassing video. Like a grand total of two seconds pass upon getting there when Anthony manages to horrifically maim a guy's face by pushing him into a table with a glass bowl. I mean just look at this and tell me that doesn't belong in a horror movie. Not this... comedy i guess ian and anthony end up finding An- anna and themselves at the party the principal starts trying to host the show to largely silence apart from a few boos before introducing a old anthony to do the theme song we effectively get a grand reveal that it was ian who uploaded the video i mean that does anyone care man it doesn't really change anything does it anthony finally does the flip and shit while He and Effie Lee just says he thought it would be funny and not embarrassing. Apparently it was to remind him how funny he used to be, which is ironically sounds like the fans of Smosh. I mean the next bit is just the context of the video while Ian and Anthony talk about how they've changed and shit. Then in the midst of they end up fucking up Derry and hence being transported to some other video. The next few minutes is just a montage of them fighting going through all the videos Ian was watching at the beginning of the movie. 
Finally, they're back into a, the catastrophic video. He apologizes before he says he'll make it up to Anthony. He then proceeds to get on stage and beat the shit out of old Anthony, who somehow doesn't get knocked out, despite being hit with an actual break. Then old Anthony, then old Ian fights Anthony, and while Ian fights old Anthony, and the movie just descends into fucking fight club. Then in another, to be honest, pretty good twist, there Ian ends up being Steve YouTube, which causes Ian and Anthony to panic before deciding to go back to, through their viewing history to escape. Steve YouTube then effectively chases them in VR to stop them, leading to um, this. That's just chaotic, but also kind of repetitive. There's another joke about buffering, but come on, nobody cares. Then Steve jumps into a portal himself and intercepts him. He waffles for a bit before being chased by the bear that started it all, who does WWE moves on him for some reason. Then they just get out, except for some reason it looks like they're being given birth to. Like, how is this movie getting weirder? Then there's a bit of filler before they get home, but they also see it's a completely different house for some reason. Ian manages to grab a literal sword near the entrance. How convenient. When they get to... When they go inside the house and get to a room and they meet Butt Massage Girl, but in real life this time. She basically drops a bunch of expectation about what apparently happened. They dropped a video that became the most famous on YouTube, ended up on Broadway. She's dating Ian apparently. Anthony has 30 girlfriends, but he ends up only wanting Anna, which that's bullshit, but okay. There's a bunch more stuff that doesn't really matter, but you can hear it, I guess. Apparently Steve YouTube's now a pizza guy who Anthony ends up kicking. Jenna Marbles is now the CEO of YouTube. Which, uh, okay. They end up going to the ru- they end up going to the reunion, which is still happening for some reason, in limos and suits. The principal is still there and DJing. He introduces Ian and Anthony, and again there's a lot of waffle. After that, Anthony tries to meet Anna, who tells him that basically she preferred the old him and that he was different now, which he doesn't exactly take well because he goes back to Ian, who by the way tells him that his life's fucking incredible now before another badly green screen hallucination of Steve Austin tells him he can do it. It being trying to get a girl when you're already rich and famous. He then goes on stage to perform the theme of Magic Pocket Slave Monsters, except he actually lands the flip before him and Ian perform the song and it goes pretty well. Although the absolute war crimes that are the lyrics are probably not incredible. Anna finally accept the fact that he is the same old him when he literally murders someone by electrocuting them. <laughs> The movie ends with Butt Massage Girl finally revealing her name. It's Brad. <laughs> well, now that that's done, I'll be completely honest. I thought it'd be a lot worse. I mean, that was really bad, but most of the worst parts were more from the production value, which, I mean, was never gonna be good in a fucking YouTuber movie. But overall, I could see why this would be entertaining for, I mean, probably younger teenagers, because it's not exactly the most advanced humor, but also very vulgar. It's gonna be it for me guys, make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below what kind of content you wanna see. Also comment down below whether you wanna see more of these kind of videos. But that's all from me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.